everybody and their neighbor. Welcome back to Gear and Gigs. I'm your host, Jet Stone. So glad you could stop by today. We are awful glad to have you here for yet another episode of everyone's favorite game show, Guess, Guess the, the, the Base. Base. That's right. Oh, no. <laughs> Ah, Reg had no idea that was coming. Now, a minute ago in our pre-show conversation, he said, you know, one of these, one of the things I've learned over the years doing these shows is you always have to be totally ready. Don't be surprised by anything. So does he look really ready and not surprised or what, people? Uh, I love these shows because it puts the spotlight on someone else. There he is, the man of the hour, everybody's favorite guesser. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, it's Rich. Oh, my God. If How I you were doing, Rich? I'm, you know what? Oh, I am. I, am, uh, I, I, don't, I, have, I really don't have an answer to that at this moment. Now, but, those uh, of you that have, that have kept up with his score know that he's uh, one for... One for four, is it now? One, one for, for one four. for four. <laughs> Which I gotta say, at this point, I am happy to have the one, right? Because if it was over four, I'd just be, oh, I'm having technical difficulties here, Jed. I don't think I can play with you today. Right, right. <laughs> one for four is at least you're trying. You're there. Uh... Yeah, yeah. No excuses. He's already participated in, in several of these now. He's, he's got to keep going to try to improve the record. So we're going for two, two out of five today, if you can pull this off. And he's got a shot. I'll tell you right now, compared to some of them, you got a shot. Okay. It's not completely out of the realm of possibilities. So. Okay. I, and I think, you know, I think I've got some decent questions this time. It's so <laughs> You've certainly uh, had an opportunity know, to, to develop it. For anyone questions. who has never seen one of these Guess the Bases right. uh, episodes, while you're here trying to guess the base, when you're the person on the spot, when I go back and watch the previous one that I missed, I can think of all kinds of great questions that I didn't ask. When you're the one guessing... You can't think of anything. It's that you're just like, uh, oh, it's just, it's, it's like, uh, it's like double jeopardy and you're playing against smart people. <laughs> Hindsight is twenty twenty, but hind hearing is, well, that doesn't even sound right. Hind hearing. That goes back. Now we're talking back to stench again. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's pre-show conversation. Let's, let's not dive into the stench right now. Yeah, no, that's as far stench as filters all go. the way up. So, so I have a base in my hot little hands, okay. and uh, we'll be playing through our, uh, as we do, our, our uh, tone hammer, Aguilar tone hammer head going directly into the recorder. So it's bass into the tone hammer, into the in digital recorder. So it's, uh, it's pretty solid, uh, pretty, pretty direct tone that you're, you'll be hearing, and he'll be hearing the same thing. No post-processing or anything like that. No compression, no EQ, other than what might be uh, in the bass, if there is any, uh, any of these. Uh, the amp is set pretty flat. Everything's pretty much straight up and down over there. So nothing untoward or, or particularly fascinating going on at the amp. It's really just going to be, you know, adding some volume and a little bit of tone. He's got uh, 25 questions. We, we upped it at some point due to, I don't remember, some some the complaints we got from participants in the game, the 20 questions was not enough. So we moved it to 25 uh, with the last five being guesses, correct? Is that is that the, the I current? I believe that's how it works. 20, 20 questions where I can actually have you play or describe, and then uh, the last five for um, taking a stab at it. Right. Right, last five with a stab. If he gets it right, of course, he wins the Broyhill dinette set. Uh, he's already had one, so this would be, you know, for maybe outside on a patio or something. But Or maybe you could make, you know, a, an eight sitting, a larger. Oh, yeah. yeah. there you go. Yeah, of kind of a yeah, buffet kind of double style. Down. Yeah, mm -hmm. very nice. Uh, so this is, you know, basically this is for all the marbles. Okay, well, the pressure is definitely on Broyhill or not. <laughs> I thought you were going to say Broyhill or bust. <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't want to jinx myself. But he's at the he's same ready time, to go. I'm he's fired him. up. This is going to be exciting. Now, Reg is a bass player, 
and he has worked in major metropolitan music stores. So he is familiar with many brands. Uh, he is a bit of a connoisseur of the instrument. You see him surrounded by keyboards there, but he's uh, primarily a bass player. Really, keyboards are, are secondary, I would say, even though he, he is very passionate about keyboards and synths especially, but he's really a bass player at heart. That's his main instrument and what he's played for years. So he is well versed in the topic. So he's, he starts out with an advantage over many. Does that, does that make it feel less fair? <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping it does. <laughs> I mean, it's not really making me feel much better. No, you're a complete expert. Um, He's a self-professed bass expert. I never, ever. <laughs> it says so right there. Ah, yes, and it has before. <laughs> and look where it's gotten me. So he's batting, he's batting 250. We're I'll say he, this. He can do a little I, bit better. You are correct. Bass is my primary instrument, um, although I have more synthesizers than basses. But currently. that's because... Currently. Yeah, currently. Uh, that, but, that's, but that's neither here nor there. Um, and I do enjoy the instrument a lot. And I, I for the average bass player... I think I know a thing or two about bass guitar. Oh, you heard him say it, people. Um, there it is. He knows a thing or a two thing about A thing or bass. two. That's right. one or two things. <laughs> right? Not <laughs> At maximum, two. Right. Two things. One or two things. Um, okay, but... Um, Are you ready? It's okay. Yeah. I'm going to do I'm going to do it. You're going to okay? do it. It's going to be good. You're going to be gonna two for five. It. I feel it. Or, or you won't. So here we go. He can, uh, he can ask his questions starting now. Question number one. Number one. Uh, and by the way, I'm not on screen, so you can all play along too. Oh, you're going to do this for real, huh? Yeah, everybody gets to play. Like nobody's going to But only, okay. only Reg is eligible for the Broyhill, just to be clear. Right, nobody else gets the Broyhill, so if you at home guess it, well, that's, you know. Yeah. You can feel good about it, but that's about it. Yeah, um, <laughs> you can feel better than Reg. That's that's what you get. Right. You can you can you can go around and say I'm smarter than that idiot. Um, okay. If you're not already saying that, so here we go. Right. I have a feeling they are. Okay. Number one question. Yes. What is kind of this bass, bass guitar? <laughs> what kind of what is this bass? Um, is this bass guitar something that has been in the studio um, since I have been in the studio? No. It okay, doesn't help so a lot of other people, but it helps Reg quite a bit. So we're moving on to question number two. Right. Well, I that I immediately know what you have, so it's none of those. Right. It is none of um, those. As it hasn't been for any of these shows. Because you know. Okay. Um. So then we'll go. I'm gonna I'm gonna use up a few of these just to try to get a feel for it. So um, how many strings? Uh, it's a four string. Or string, uh, tuning keys That's question all two. on the top. Or question two three two. is tuning keys all three. the top. Yes, all the top, all the top. Okay. Question four. Um, question four. How many pickups? Uh, two. Two pickups. Two are pickups. they both single coil pickups? This is question five. Are they both single coil pickups? Yes. Uh huh. Okay. Question so six. He's plowing through. He's already keys. through a fourth of his questions. This would be number six. Yes. Um, I'm flying this time. You don't even want to hear the bass. Uh, he doesn't want to uh, even hear the bass at this point. I haven't got there yet. I'm, I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I don't know what I'm trying to do, but I'm going I'm to stick with it. I'm going to keep doing it, right. whatever it sure. is. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, neck to neck to body. Um, what do we got there? Neck through, bolt on, set neck. Uh, we see the questions are really, I mean, I've, I've been letting you slide, but really the questions are supposed to be more of a, a yes, no, as opposed to tell me the answer question. Okay. All right. Is it, is it a bolt on neck? It is not a bolt on neck. That's the question. Six. It's not a bolt on neck. Not okay. That was six, seven would be, is it a set neck? It is not a set neck. Is it a neck through? That's question eight. Is it a neck through? Uh huh. Yes, it is. Okay. Now we got it. A neck through bass with two single coil pickups and all four tuning keys on the top of the headstock. Yep. Okay. All right. Okay. Now you mean that as opposed to like, as an example, something like a Steinberger, perhaps that would have the keys at the bottom. 
or actually no keys at all, really, but you know what I mean. Well, yeah, we wouldn't have a headstock if that were. Uh, that's true, we wouldn't have a headstock, but you didn't ask about the headstock, you just said, are all the tuning keys at the top? Oh, I meant like four on top or two and two. Oh, see, I misunderstood. Ah, uh, okay. I'll, that, I'll give you that one you. then, it's two and two. Okay. Two and two, okay. Two and two, next two three. And two. So that's question, what are we on, uh, nine? That, is that eight that, or nine? That was, or that eight, that was that eight, was eight because yeah, that was nine. a So question nine. Okay, now. Yeah. Does it have uh, independent volume and tone controls per pickup? No. It does not. No. Question okay. 10. Still hasn't heard the bass. Yeah, we're coming to that real soon. Uh, so question 10 will be, um, is it a uh, single volume with a, like a fader for the pickups back and forth? Yes, it is. Okay. Question 11. Is it, is, all right, 11 is, does it have active electronics? Yes, it does. It has active electronics. Yes, it does. That's question 11. Okay, it's time to hear this sucker. So question number 12 is, can you play me finger style um, with both pickups sort of evenly matched? Yes, sir. Let me turn off my mic because we're getting a little bit of uh, string noise. Hang on a second. Okay, that sounds an awful lot like a bass guitar to me. <laughs> He's narrowing it down, people. Hang am, on. I, am I in the ballpark? Am I in the ballpark <laughs> there? The ball I won't even count that as a question. You're, you're getting closer. Okay, good, good. <laughs> question 13. That was both pickups mm. pretty evenly assigned. There's okay, actually no center to tent on this, so I don't know where exact center is, but you know. Yeah, that's... Uh, uh, Close enough. That sounded uh, meaty and uh, and and it sounded like it sounded nice. It had a nice meaty, sound. beady, big and bouncy. Uh, it could be all of those things. Um, does it have a does it have a three band EQ on the bass? It does not have a three band EQ on the bass. Does it have a two band EQ on the bass? This is question fourteen, and yes, it does. Mm -hmm. Okay, two band EQ. Yes, which I can demonstrate for you if you'd like. I don't know how much it'll help. Well, I'll just give you a quick up and down on the bass and up and down on the treble. Here we go. Okay. both pretty powerful they're both very powerful uh and at the last there i had them both up yeah that's true when you put the treble up it was like whoa that's uh that's quite a boost it's quite a um, boost there's about 14 db a boost on each on each one that's a, yeah it's impressive um so question all right here's 16. A, here's a question 16 here's a question are we 15 or 16 this would be 15 15 he I'm might, pretty sure. Know, I think we might have doubled up on a question, but that's all right. We're going to let it go. Question 15. I'll give, like, if I win this, I'll give up one chair of the Broy Hill. <laughs> Ta table and three chairs. Well, okay? just the center leaf if you want for the table. That'd be, that'd be all right. Okay. Um, to the best of your knowledge. Uh oh. Is this a bass guitar that you think that I would be familiar with? Yeah. I oh, this so. makes it so much worse. <laughs> so much worse. If oh, I had said no, he would have just given up right then. But now he can't. 
No, I kept playing, but then I would feel better when I lost. But um, now knowing ahead of time that I'll, I should know this, I should know what it is. Uh, see, the, it's the, the thing that's got me right now is the the tuning keys, top and bottom, two and two. That's the thing. And the neck through. Is this all right? I'm gonna I'm gonna take a couple of wild stabs. Really? Right? At, at, at sixteen, you're gonna take at, stabs. At sixteen, I'm gonna take a couple of wild stabs. Okay. Um, uh, is it a is it a Warwick base? It is not a Warwick base. Oh, it's not a Warwick no. base. Okay. Question 17, seventeen is is it a, is it a Spectre base? It is a Spectre base. It is a Spectre base. Okay, like an NS1? It is not an NS1. Okay, but I'm close enough, right? <laughs> did I guess the... <laughs> did, I, did I guess... Because I, I guess it's a Spectre. Right. I, sh should we give it to him? Let's, let me check with the judges. They're going to let you have it. At question 18. Oh, two for five. Two, two for, five. for five is going to get two it. Two for All right. five. Okay, can't wait to see it. Can't, can't wait to see it. All right, should I guess the color? Is it um, a natural wood color? It is not a natural wood paint color. It. Paint it. it well, um, that, well, natural wood color I take to mean a clear stain. Or I mean, a, you know, a, 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 like, like natural wood color. Right, not paint it. it yeah, it's not painted. It. It's, it's a stain, but it's not natural. Okay, it's so an unnatural like some color. Kind of, <laughs> some kind of uh, like some kind of red red stain on Oh, it. he gets the color right on the question twenty. Unbelievable. Okay, there we go. Ba -ba -ba, let's see it. And as you can see, he got it right. It's a specter. It's red. It's the same shape as the NS one. It's uh, the Euro four LX. So it's made in Europe, uh, in the United States. Uh, it is a neck through, as he said, maple, three-piece maple neck, uh, with a sandwich of European alder, American maple, and a little thin strip of walnut, if you can see the thin strip of walnut on the side going through. Nice. Uh, Bartolini, passive pickups, but the tone pump EQ circuit, which is a bass and a treble, as I said, 14 dB of boost available, uh, 4 dB of cut available on the bass, and... 12 dB, if I'm not mistaken, of cut available on the treble. So to you actually have to roll it up each knob a little bit to get to flat, which is interesting. Now, Spectre actually says it's just 18, 18 dB straight boost, but the circuit is made by a company called Michalik, in, located in the Czech Republic. And they say it's the same as their, I think it's the BP4 circuit, but one of their circuits. And uh, that's how they describe it. So I'm going to go with what that is. Uh, a lightweight zinc alloy bridge, uh, Schaller? Uh, no, it's Spectre, Spectre Zone, which uh, uses set screws on either side of the of, of it here and here to squeeze all the saddles together. So it locks them in place and gives you a little bit more sustain. Um, their own proprietary tuners, it looks like. Uh, and the, the Bartolini's are specially wound for this, this base. Uh, rosewood neck. Good very good looking. I like the bound neck and the block inlays and all that. It's... Uh... Yeah, it's a very pretty oh, it's not, okay. thing. It's got that weird okay, carve that they do. Uh, and uh, not everyone like. knows this, but it was uh, designed by Ned Steinberger. Hence the NS in NS1. This would be the NS2, technically. The, the American version of the NS2 because of the two pickups. But yeah, Steinberger. This is when he thought bases needed a body, I guess. Well, I think they do. The reason we did a Spectre today is because Every single time that we've done an episode of Guess the Base, I guess it's Warwick Spectre and Spectre ever. right next to each other. And usually, usually into the late guessing stage is not usually right, you know, while he's still trying to get information. So his, his uh, penchant for a wild stab this time actually worked out to his, his benefit. But I thought you might get it because you've always guessed Spectre. And I thought, well, we've never had a Spectre in the studio. So now we do. True enough. Yeah, I wasn't going to go, oh, is it a neck through jazz bass? Right. I wasn't going to do that. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> that, that wasn't going to happen. So, uh, so congratulations. Yeah, like Look like at a, you. It's like a PJ setup. I it, like that. It is. It is. And it's got a nice, it's got a nice sound to it. The EQ has a lot to do with it. I'll, I'll roll from one pickup to the other so you can hear the two pickups too. Thank you. 
That's interesting, okay? Each one soloed, mm -hmm. not that different, right? I mean, there's there's Some slight differences, differences yeah. but it's not like a it's not like night and day difference between the pickups. Mm -hmm. But the two of them together mm -hmm. is a that would be the tone I would try to get out of that bass. Yeah, yeah. For me, I gotta have a, I gotta roll up at the bottom end a little bit with the bass and the treble just enough to give me a little a little bite because it can be a little dark. Right? It, yeah, it's that's a. You can actually get a yeah. little distortion, a little overdrive from the circuit. It's got quite a bit of oomph. Yep. yep. It's very pretty, too. Well, thanks. Thanks. I thought like it was kind of nice, too. We didn't have old any hard bases around here. There's no detent in on these at all, so you got to kind of guess what sounds flat. But their theory was just dial it to what you like and don't worry about what flat is. Dial, right, dial right. it up to what you want. Uh, and um, yeah, it's, a, it's an active bass, but only the tone pump circuit is active. The pickups themselves are passive. So this one's built in the Czech Republic. Uh, they went over and set up a factory that's been going for quite a while now. It taught them how to do it and showed them how they wanted it done. So it's basically a recreation of the American versions, but a little less expensive. So, but brass nut too, brass nut, it's kind of nice. Very nice. You don't see that very often. And the neck is nice, very Rickenbackery as well, because it doesn't get too big. There's the flare yeah, from yeah, bottom very... to top is, is not a lot. So, minimal, uh, minimal, what you call, uh, yeah. Tapering, I guess. Yeah. Taper, that's yeah. the word. Yeah, so it's super comfortable to play, and uh, I think it has a, a nice a nice round bottom to it. Yeah, you that know, sounds it, great. It does meaty. It is very meaty sound, like you said. It is that. What's yeah. that What's that fender sitting next to you? Oh, this is a, I'll set this down for a second. This is a American Performer Series. Jazz bass and sparkle silver. Yeah, I like, always like the black headstock on those bass. Yeah. Now this has got, you can see a much bigger flare top to bottom in the neck. This one starts out very skinny down here and gets much wider down here. Great for finger spacing. It's a little bit bigger down there, but pretty tight down here. So, you know, it's a, it's a big mm -hmm. change to go from playing up here to playing down here. Whereas the Spectre doesn't do that. And the Spectre, in fact, is very similar to a Rick or uh, even an old Hoffner. If you remember the old Hoffner's very skinny neck all the way up, and this one feels, as a guitar player primarily, this feels very comfortable all the way up. And uh, string spacing is nice. It's easy to get a nice, uh, because of the neck through, it's easy to get a lot of sustain and that kind of stuff. So it's a nice bass. I really like it. Not too heavy at all. It's pretty comfortable. It's got the big curve to the back. It's got a very big carved curve, as you can see, yep. which kind of hugs the, the belly, especially if your belly is a little bit bigger than it should be because you've been eating too much. I think I can relate to that. Yeah, I can too. It's it's been a a, a year of eating for me. So, but uh, but yeah, you you got it. You got the Spectre, dude. You got it. Ooh, two for five. Two for five is a little bit more respectable than one for four. And now we're gonna have to come up with something different than a broil for the next episode of Guess the Base. Yeah, maybe some good. kind of outdoor grill. Ooh, ooh, look at you. Maybe. A, a Just hibachi. saying, you know, now that I got all these tables. <laughs> Uh, an outdoor grill would be, uh, you know, right? Charcoal, well, yeah, charcoal. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I think we might have to consider that next time. That might be either that or a, a or a mattress from Serta. I mean, it could be that. It's tough to say. Yeah, I got some. I already got some really nice mattresses. Let's see, <laughs> He's got else? eight mattresses. We don't know why. He just collects them. It's hey, what about? I guess the base. I get the base. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, we seem to be having technical difficulties, so we're going to have to call it right there, everybody. But but uh, congratulations to Reg. I hope you all give him a nice comment below. Please subscribe to the channel. Take just a moment and hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you a thing, and it helps us out quite a bit. And tell a friend. Uh, see if you can stump them with this episode or any of the others. I'll put some links down below for, uh, for the other episodes. And uh, in the meantime... Thank you for joining us at Gear and Gigs for Guess the Bass, Reg, almost a champion, well, you know, champion-esque. Oh, not a, let's, let's put it this way, not a complete loser. Not a complete loser.
complete loser anymore. Two, I mean, you're running 40%. That's not bad. Yeah, it's not terrible. That's not terrible. That's it's not, not terrible. complete loser territory. Now, it's probably not uh, going to be a war week the next time because, he, as I said, he always guesses those two together. But maybe this will stop him because, you know, he, he really has every time. That's why I eventually went, well, we're going to have to get a Spectre because he just keeps bringing it up. He must subconsciously want a Spectre in the studio. So now we have it. I've always admired their bases. It's very, it's nice small I've body, very them. small body too. Very, very, you know, kind of not, not overwhelming. Like you, mm -hmm. the jazz, I put a jazz on and it feels like I'm, you know, got. Yeah. Yeah. Well, jazz bases are, are kind of big for me as well. I, I prefer the P bass body because it's more. Spelt. Compacted. Yeah. 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 Not all that stretching. Yeah. So, so Steinberger was heading you know, that way. Jazz yeah. bass, what they do in the factory is they cut, all they do is they cut out P bass bodies and then they go, oh, we're going to do some jazz bases. And they got this guy who grabs it from two opposite ends Pulls. and just goes like yeah. that and stretches it to that. Not many people know that. I, I don't think anybody knows that, but uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's my supreme base knowledge. I know, I know exactly. How that was the it. other thing. They stretch it. Yeah. That was the other thing. Yeah. <laughs> so thanks everybody for joining us. Really appreciate you guys stopping by and uh, we'll see you next time on the next gear and gates for Reg. I'm Jet. Take care, everybody.